Hey guys, it's Erica Marie here. It is a beautiful Sunday out here in the Midwest. Uh, I wanted to log on and briefly discuss about the new moon energy in Scorpio and like what that looks like here and how that manifests here into our, you know, physical world, the 3D world, okay? So right now, many of you are feeling the new cycles that are coming in, this new energy. You can feel the fresh start is on the horizon, and you just want to tap into that energy. You can feel it. You um, want to move forward, okay? But, here's the but, if there's anything, any kind of residue that's still lingering in your energy field that you need healing from, that is going to be brought up, okay? And it could be things that you didn't even realize that was still lingering because the reason why it's being brought up is to be able to identify it. Identify it that is in an old energy, an old karmic cycle, okay? Some of you may have already know, um, and I have identified this old cycle. Many of you have probably been um, in this old cycle for the last couple months. Maybe something that you thought you were healed from has come back up for you to be able to um, look at and reevaluate again, okay? So we are here in the new moon um, energy of Scorpio, which is about new beginnings. However, it is going to be a slow kind of process because anything that's still lingering in your energy, like I said, is going to be brought up for you to identify and then finally close in order to completely heal and move forward into the new energy. What does that look like? How can I close this out? How can I close and end this cycle finally with this person or situation? And you might be getting hit with lots of situations that are coming up. That's what's happening to me right now. Um, forgiveness. Forgiveness is the key to healing and closing out the cycle to move forward. Okay. So if you have the opportunity to be able to um, forgive a person, situation, you know, slash situation, and you're able to speak one on one, face to face. Um, with this person to heal, forgive, and move on, then do it now because that's what um, is being brought up for you right now. It's not to necessarily, you know, reconnect and then live out the old cycle again. No, it's to reconnect in order to forgive and then end and close out and then have fresh new beginnings, okay? So if um, you're not sure how to forgive, um, you know, you can message me, you can email me at chakraanalyzer at gmail.com or you can message me on Facebook at Chakra Analyzer. Also, too, I do want to point out, though, um, if you are not able to talk one-on-one -on -one with a person, you know, let's say they've passed, um, but you still want to heal from the situation, you know, the memory of it is being brought back up, then what you can do is you can, you know, pull out a journal, you can pull out a piece of paper, and then write down um, and say that you forgive the person, you forgive the situation, and then if you're even wanting forgiveness and you can't talk to the person, then ask for forgiveness. Take that piece of paper, get a lighter match, and then um, light it on fire. This allows you to write your intention, light it, transmute that negative energy, um, and be able to move on and tap into the new energy and move forward into new cycles. Okay, guys? So I'm hoping that this resonates with uh, most of you watching this. Like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Um, otherwise, enjoy your Sunday. Bye, guys.